Oh baby, it feels good to be back out in my boat. Man, the, uh, the sea hunt honestly hasn't moved in about six or seven weeks, which is very, very rare for me. Uh, you guys know probably by now I've been very busy with my remodel project, which is coming to an end hopefully in two weeks. Fingers crossed I can get everything completed. And uh, I've honestly just been fi uh, fishing and bouncing around on my buddy's boat. So what we're gonna do today, you guys, is we're gonna run offshore. I'm gonna head out to some of those nearby wrecks and reefs and we're gonna drop down for some sheep's head. This time of year, man, the sheep's head bite is usually pretty good. And hopefully today, me, Matt, and J. Todd will be able to get it done. So let's go grab some bait and I'll catch you guys back offshore. Oh wow, that was quick. There's a good one. Come on up, sea bass. Not this one, this is, oh, sheep's head. Yeah, baby. Keeper, keeper sheeper. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to boat flip him. Yeah, grab that net. All right. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Yeah, man. Let me grab this girl real quick. All right, got it. Thank you, man. All right, guys. Well, target species is on the boat. This is uh, probably a good 17, 18 inch size sheep's head right here. Got her on that live shrimp. I'll show you that rig here in just a second, but look at those little teeth. I tell you guys, these are absolutely delicious fish. And we're gonna keep as many of these things as we can catch offshore. So we're gonna throw these girls on ice and I'll show you that rig and then we'll get back down. All right, so here's my rig for my sheep's heads, my old school Falcon. Uh, this is the XG Red Fisher rod. I broke the tip off a couple times, so what was seven foot is now down to about, oops, six foot nine. And I got it paired up here with my Daiwa Fuego 2500 with 20 pound Power Pro braid. I'm rocking 30 pound Andy monofilament leader. And I'm using two ounces to get down to the bottom. Now what I've basically done is just basically tied a uh, knot in line here, which has given me a hitch that comes off to the side. And I just take that two watt Gamagatsu live bait hook and that's it. So she's basically going to sit down here on the bottom with my uh, shrimp suspended up just a little bit in the current down there, probably about five inches above. And that's pretty much all I threw. Now she hit that thing just as soon as it hit the bottom. So I happen to actually just throw it right on top of her. But we're marking good, good, uh, good bait and good fish down there right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to horn hook that shrimp just like that, just like everybody else does. And we're just going to drop this thing right back down to the bottom. Now, once it hits, I'll just give the handle one quick turn, get the line uh, nice and tight, and I'll make sure I'm just bumping up and down, staying in contact with the bottom. You don't want to have too much line out and get real slack down there because that sheep's head bite happens really quick and you want to be able to set that hook almost immediately. So I'm on the bottom and now it's just a game of cat and mouse. All right, what we got, a little sea bass? A little sea bass. Not big enough. So these guys have to be 13. That's not 13. Missing a little bit of a tail bite there. He's coming up. Be a big old fatty black drum. Red. Red. There you go. Just a nice, uh, nice juvenile red. There we go. 
There she is. Beauty. Beautiful fish. Yeah. So we just moved spots, guys. We're out here in uh, 47 feet of water. After I caught that one sheep's head, we went on a kind of a dry run of just little small grunts and little small sea bass. So we decided to uh, basically move over to the next reef system about five or six miles away. And uh, Matt just dropped down that freestyle jig here. It's got a two little double hooks on it. It looks basically something like that. And a very similar type rig that I was using in that last little offshore video. But we're gonna keep throwing some different varieties of stuff down and see if we can get on a nice bite. Gotcha. A little better fish. Got a little better bass, I think. I just sent, oh, a little sheep's head. <laughs> I'll pull him right on in. There you go. A little guy trying to flex out on me. You know what's funny, man, is that's a keeper. Yeah. And that's, and that's something, how small he is. Yeah. Just 10, 10 inches. You want to keep it? No. Don't tell Big Mama we're here. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> no! <laughs> what you got? I got. Uh, red snapper? Maybe big redfish. Oh, maybe a snapper. Snapper? Yeah, there we go. There's a nice snapper. Woo! Thank you, sir. I'll slide her out. Yeah, that's a chunky monkey for uh, this close in shore. Wow, absolutely beautiful. You got a snapper too? Yep. How big is yours? Yeah, man. Those are a good size right there, buddy. There she is. Pretty girl here, probably uh, 24, 25, maybe something like that. Got some nice weight to her. Got it? <laughs> Yeah, they're good. This one here's been trying to swim away all night. Grab, uh, where's that net? I'll just, oh, no, she's gone. She's gone. All right, guys, here we go. Red snapper on the diesel eye. Now this is the smaller of the diesel eyes. It's, um, it's the dot hook, but it's about a one ounce weight here as opposed to the big three that you guys have seen me throw before. But we're out here in 50 feet of water and that one ounce is getting down here to the bottom just fine. The current's not really too strong, but five inch golden boy diesel minnow on a diesel eye jig head. Gotta love it. On the Z-Man diesel. I think you're gonna have a redfish. Nice snapper. Good one. Oh, look at that. Look at that tug. Oh, he swam in and out. <laughs> like I said, full grown, gentlemen. Full there's, a, grown. there's a tub. Jeez, bro. That's the size of where we were two weeks ago. And look at the size of that thing, guys. <laughs> there's my hand. That's the biggest snapper I've seen. He's got a little uh, disformity on his back, too. That's funny. That's the biggest one I've seen this close Especially in. Near shore. Yeah. yeah, we're... Uh, Land is just inside over there. Wow, big snapper, bro. Yeah, he's nice and lively. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. Healthy boy. Healthy boy. Yeah, boy. Man. What'd you get that fish on? The Z-Man Diesel Eye. I Every tell you, time, man. And doesn't let him go. I tell you, man, that lure is getting it done for him. Me, I'm still trying to get sheep's head, but he's over here wrecking big fish. Just as soon as I get this guy. Is that gonna be our sheep's head? That's gonna probably be a snapper. Oh man. It's like clockwork. You just talk about leaving and the fish is like, no, wait. <laughs> I want one more shrimp. <laughs> oh man. Another red snapper easy girl 
There she is. Another, another beauty. These fish are so feisty. And their little gill plates are extremely sharp too. You gotta be very careful when you handle these things. See ya. <laughs> that was like a scuba dive entrance. <laughs> uh, it gets it done. All right, guys. Well, I am back on land. A successful day out on the water. And actually, I just got through having dinner at Fishtails which is a restaurant attached to the Fort McAllister Marina. Now, I don't know if you guys know, if you're in, in the uh, Richmond Hill area and you are fishing, guys, you can take your fresh catch filleted to that restaurant and they will cook it up any way that you want, add a couple sides, and uh, I think they'll upcharge you a total of 13 or 14 bucks, which isn't bad for a fresh fish dinner, especially one that you caught. They'll blacken it, grill it, uh, broil it, deep fry it, really however you want. And uh, it was really good, honestly. Any day that I can come off the water and have a quality meal like that, that I caught myself and not have to be over here in the kitchen <laughs> is definitely a win in my book. Now, as far as the fishing went today, you guys, fantastic day out on the water. I initially set out with a goal to catch sheep's head with those live shrimp that I did get from the marina early that morning. And I uh, went out there and man, I tell you, on probably the first or second drop, I caught that really nice sheep's head that I wound up eating for dinner. And that was pretty much it for the quality bite after that. Uh, I wound up catching a couple more small ones, uh, but nothing really of good size. And that pretty much uh, ended the sheep's head run for me. Now, the big problem today that I was noticing was the black sea bass were all over those nearby wrecks and reefs. Very, very small black sea bass as well. Uh, guys, I fished through two whole quarts of shrimp and we only pulled two keepers out uh, all day long. And we probably caught hundreds of black sea bass amongst all three of us. I know at one point Todd was sabiki rigging down, trying to grab some bait for a bigger rig, and he was pulling in three and four black sea bass at a time. So uh, those girls are definitely thick out there. So if you are going out there to target sheep's head and you do get into those uh, black sea bass really thick like that, possibly consider moving because I don't think the sheep's head are gonna be in the areas where those sea bass are because they are gonna have to compete for the food source that's there. And I think, honestly, it's gonna push them away. Uh, now, as far as catching red snapper, guys, we were on fire with that. We honestly went out there with no intentions on catching them or finding red snapper of that quality, uh, but they were there. And honestly, I'm excited about that because I have some new numbers. So when red snapper season opens up this summer for the two days <laughs> that it's going to be, uh, I'll be able to run not too far off at, uh, at those nearby Rex and Reefs right outside of Savannah, hopefully grab a limit real quick and then head back in and enjoy uh, eating those guys. So Really, that's all I got for today, man. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Jay Todd, Matt, thank you guys so much for joining me on the boat. It's always a pleasure as well to both of you guys. And for everyone at home, uh, take care. I'll see you on the next video. God bless.